guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video. So this is probably the strangest place I've ever started a video. I've never really done anything outside of my studio, but I'm in my car doing the intro to this video, and for good reason, I just picked up a brand new camera, and we're right here with it. It is the box right there in my passenger seat. Brand new camera, it's gonna be the main channel camera from here on out. I decided to get something new. We're gonna take a look at it, mostly just film some crazy stuff because I need something to edit for today's video, because we're gonna be editing a video from start to finish in DaVinci Resolve, a completely free editor. I'm gonna show you exactly how to edit a video in it and we're gonna be using the footage kind of like this from the uh, from the car So let's take a look at this camera Now before you get mad at me for throwing this box around and thinking I'm disrespecting my brand new camera the camera's actually not in this. This is the camera right here. I'm actually already shooting on it, the Sony FX3. We're going to take a closer look at it once we jump inside because I really don't want to film this whole video outside. But the whole point of me filming out here is to show you that I can do this now. I can just set up the camera, throw it up in a vlog style. It's a much smaller camera than what I've had before. The C200 was a large cinema camera. It took a lot of time to set up. This thing is just a small mirrorless camera that I can throw up anywhere and just start shooting immediately. I can vlog with it. I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling this year, so I thought it'd be nice to have a camera like that that I can really just throw up and shoot anything. So hopefully for the channel content, I'll be able to do a lot more spontaneous, just random stuff and not so much planned stuff down in the studio. But speaking of planned stuff down in the studio, let's go ahead and take this camera down there, throw it up in the main setup, and see how it looks and talk about it a little bit more so we can get some more footage to edit inside of DaVinci Resolve. And here we are in my typical studio setup. Got the new camera set up and as you can see it is looking incredible. I'm just now realizing I don't know if I actually told you guys what camera I got. Did I even mention what camera it was in the last shot? I'm gonna say it anyway. I bought the Sony FX3. It's Sony's newest mirrorless camera in their lineup and their newest cinema camera, and it's freaking amazing just how compact it is and what it can do. If you guys saw before I actually sat down at this studio section, I had it rigged up for the vlog setup. I had it on this gorilla pod right here so I could shoot myself. I had this small road mic on the top, and I was able to just vlog with it. But now, if you saw, I was able to pull all that off, add the top handle, which gives me professional XLR inputs, and I'm now able to use this as a studio camera. It's so modular, I can do so much with it. I can shoot the studio stuff with professional XLRs going in. I can tear that off and I can move it right back into the vlog setup. And this is what I've been looking for for a YouTube camera. I've been saying for years how overkill the C200 is for YouTube and it's finally caught up with me and it started to hinder my production a little bit because I don't want to take this large cinema camera and have to take the time to set it up for every single time I want to do a YouTube video. With this one, I can just set it up and I'm pretty much ready to go. The small cameras, the mirrorless cameras are by far the way to go for YouTube. I am loving it so much just being able to vlog with it, shoot the studio stuff with it, and it looks freaking great. I'm going to be throwing some B-roll over the top of me talking so that you guys can see what the camera actually looks like, because I'm obviously shooting on it here so you guys can't see it. And that's also going to give us some more stuff to edit inside of DaVinci Resolve, which is a great segue. This video is actually going to be all about how to edit in DaVinci, because I know a lot of you out there want to start your own YouTube channel, but you have no idea where to start because you feel like you need this massive editing suite, and that is not true. DaVinci Resolve is completely free. There is a paid version, but the free version gives gives you everything you need to create awesome videos for YouTube. And the link is down in the description to download right now. We're gonna be taking all this footage, the footage that I shot in my car and outside earlier, this stuff that I'm doing right now, all the B-roll that we shot to show you guys, I'm gonna be showing you how I edited that inside of DaVinci Resolve, a completely free program. And we're gonna go do that right now. So let's jump into DaVinci and take a look at how to edit a video from start to finish, importing your video all the way to editing, coloring if you need it, maybe some audio stuff, and then exporting at the end to upload to YouTube. So let's get right into it. Go ahead and download DaVinci Resolve and follow along. All right, so here we are at the typical desk setup. We're about to jump into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at how to edit some of this footage. But first, take a look at this. This is also the new camera. Once again, the Sony FX3 in the main camera setup for the channel. It's looking pretty freaking good. I can see it in OBS right over here, and uh, I'm really liking how it looks. So hopefully you guys like how the new camera looks as well. But here we are. We have just opened up DaVinci Resolve 16. I believe 17 is out by now, and you can get that for free as well. But I'm currently running 16. Not much should have changed. But we are going to open up a new project. So we're going to come down here to new project and just click new project. So now we're going to name it something. Let's call it FX3 
tests just like that and hit create. And now it's just gonna open up DaVinci Resolve right here. And the main thing you need to know about DaVinci Resolve is it is built out into different kinds of panels. So here at the bottom, you're gonna see all of these panels. It's gonna automatically open you in cut, or at least that's what it did for me. We're gonna jump over here to media. And once you're in the media panel, this is where you wanna import all of your footage. So over here in the media storage area, we can kind of just navigate to where our footage is saved. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I've now navigated to where my footage is. There's a footage folder right here. And these are all the three cameras that I've shot footage on for today's video. So what I can do is I can just drag a box and select all three of those folders and drag them down into our media pool here. It's going to take a minute to import. I get this little message about different frame rates, but that's on purpose because I shot my B-roll in 60 frames per second and the rest of my stuff in 24. So I'm just going to hit don't change. I want to worry about that later. And here is all my footage. You can see my nice looking B-roll here. You can see my studio stuff. You can see a bunch of other B-roll. You can see where I'm in my car and in my backyard. So now it's time to move into the edit tab. You can move into the cut tab, but I honestly like just moving directly into the edit tab. It feels a lot more like other editors when you just move into the edit tab, kind of like Premiere Pro. And now we can just select our clips from over here and begin editing by dragging them into the timeline. So I believe this is the car clip that I had that I really wanted to use. So I can just drag it in here. And if I take a look at the waveforms down here, you can see there's a bit of a gap here. So I think I screwed up what I said right here. So I'm going to go right here and begin my cut. And I can zoom in on the timeline by holding down control and hitting plus and minus. So there's plus, there's minus. So I'm going to zoom in just like that. And we're going to see if I start it right about here. Looks like I do. So we're going to come up here, grab the blade tool. We're going to go ahead and click back to the pointer tool, select this. And if we hit delete and now it's back at the beginning of the timeline, we can hit play and listen to what I say. Hey guys, what's up? It's gravity and welcome back to another video. So there we go. There we've got me starting the video and now it looks like I'm going to screw up here. So let's see what I say. We start to finish inside of DaVinci Resolve, a completely free editing because we're going to be editing. Okay, so I started the cuz we're going to be editing. So let's take a look back here for today's video because we're going to be so right there. So I'm going to zoom in on that and we're going to start before or cut it before the because for today's video because because right there. So we want to cut it right about here and you can go frame by frame with your arrow. So we're going to cut right there. Now we're going to move forward and cut right before I start talking again. So let's go ahead and do this right there. And now we can go back to our pointer tool, delete everything in the middle. It's going to auto just delete the gap. And now let's hit play and see what I say. Mostly just film some crazy stuff because I need something to edit for today's video. Cause we're going to be editing a video from start to just like that. And there we go. So now if we go ahead and go to the end, you can see where I end it here from the car. So let's take a look at this camera. So let's take a look at this camera. Let's go ahead and cut off the end here. And you can learn the keyboard shortcuts of what this blade tool is and what this arrow key is to speed up your editing. In Premiere Pro, I have it set to C and V. So I just kind of go C, V, C, V, C, V, back and forth. I'm just going to be using these buttons here because one, I haven't set up my hotkeys to how I want them to be yet. And then also I'm going to do it how you guys would start out as well. So now let's go ahead and grab our next clip. It is this clip right here of me walking with the box. So let's go ahead and drag it in, zoom out a little bit and take a look here. So we want to start it right about here, probably. So let's grab our blade, click, go back to our selection tool, delete that. And now let's take a look at what happens here. So let's take a look at this camera. And there we go. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. We throw this. And once I throw it, I knew I wanted to cut right here. I want to cut to where I'm fumbling with the gate here. So right here, let's go ahead and place a cut back to our selection tool, delete. And now I fumble at the gate. Once I start to get it open, I want to cut again. And then I want to cut where I'm starting to close the gate. So right about here. And let's delete out that middle. So now let's take a look at this whole sequence here. Take a look at this camera. There we go. You can see it flows a lot better. So now right here where I'm about to set the box on the table, I want to go ahead and cut right before I set the box on the table. Let's go ahead and switch to the blade tool and delete everything on the end here. And now I have a shot of me sitting at the table outside. So I want to cut this to right when I walk up to the table right here. So right about here before I set the box down. So it lines up with the last clip of when I was going to set the box down. So let's delete and now let's take a look at how that plays. Beautiful. Now before you get mad. So now I have me sitting at the table talking for a while. And once we get to the end, I mentioned going inside. So let's go ahead and come cut off the end here. See where that ended. Inside of DaVinci Resolve. 
perfect. Now we're gonna cut to inside. So let's take a look. What is my inside clip that I used? I believe it's this one right here. So if I drag it in and we go ahead and zoom out. So right about here is where I wanna start it when I'm kind of coming in. So what I can do is I can grab the front and kind of drag this in just like that. And then I can just drag this up against the last clip. So let's take a look at this transition. Talk about it a little bit more so we can get some more footage to edit inside of DaVinci Resolve. And here we are in my typical studio setup. Got the new camera set up. And I talk for quite some time about a bunch of different stuff. And as I begin talking about the camera, we're gonna wanna bring in some B-roll. So the way we're gonna bring in B-roll over how I'm talking is let's say like right here, I'm talking about the camera. Tony's newest mirrorless camera in their lineup and their newest cinema camera. In so right there, I'm talking about the camera and I wanna put in some clips of the camera. So up here, I've got all of my B-roll and the main B-roll shot that I wanna start with is this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna drag it onto the timeline above the other footage. So you can see my main footage is down here and I dragged it above. We can actually extend out the timeline here so we can kind of see what's going on down here better. So now we've got this clip above the other one and we can kind of cut this up as well. So let's go ahead and play forward and find where we want our B-roll to start. So I think I want the B-roll start right around there. So I'm gonna drag in just like that and then move Let's forward a little bit. I saw before I and I kind of want to stop it right about there when it lands on the camera. So just like that. And now you'll notice that we have the audio for this B-roll as well. We don't want the audio. So I'm gonna hold down Alt on my keyboard, click the audio layer and you'll see it only selects the audio layer, hit delete. And now we've deleted just the audio layer. It's moved our B-roll around a little bit, but that's fine because we haven't fully positioned it where we want it to be. So let's figure out where we want to talk about it. I bought the Sony FX3. It's Sony's new. So right there is would be a great spot to have it when I'm talking about the actual camera. So let's go ahead and drag it to right here and take a look at what that looks like here. I bought the Sony FX3. It's Sony's newest mirrorless camera in their lineup. So there you go. You can see that is how we're gonna bring in B-roll. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna be placing a little bit more B-roll throughout this video. And then we're gonna take a look at how to do a little bit of color grading. All right, guys, so I've laid in pretty much the entirety of my video that I want to. We've got the car stuff, we've got the outside stuff, we've got the studio stuff, we've got some B-roll on top. Once you're done just editing your video how I just showed you using the selection tool and the blade tool to just kind of cut it up inside of your timeline, just like a normal video editor, we're gonna jump into color grading. So as I said in the beginning, it's all panel based. So we're gonna come down here and you're gonna see a color panel and don't get intimidated. I know there's a ton of stuff to go over in here and I know like 5% of the DaVinci Resolve color panel, it is crazy. This is used to grade actual films out there. There's so much that you can do with this color grading panel, but we're just gonna be doing the basics. So one thing I wanna show you guys is all these little thumbnails right here. You're gonna notice that each one of these is a shot from inside of your video. Everywhere we made a cut, we've got our B-roll shots here, we've got our studio shots here, we've got our outdoor shots here where we made cuts. We've got that little sequence around the gate where I'm fiddling with the gate. We've got the inside the car stuff. Every time you make a cut and have a different video layer, there is a new thumbnail here, and this makes it super easy for color grading your footage. So let's say we're gonna start with our B-roll here. You can see we've got the B-roll shot of the camera here. This would be a fun clip to grade. The way I wanna grade this is just very simply by just kind of throwing in a little bit of saturation so if we come down here you're going to see the little sat this is the saturation knob and you're going to see that i can add some saturation or take it away so we can go black and white or you can see i can make it way too saturated so i'm just going to add in a little bit it was at 50 percent let's go ahead and bring it to like 70 percent add in a little bit of saturation and then you see the c-o-n-t it's the contrast over here you can see we can bring in a little bit of contrast you can mess around with the shadows up here to bring the shadows down you can mess around to bring the mid tones down you can mess around to bring the highlights down every Everything you want to control really for just basic color grading is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and command Z a little bit because I went a little bit crazy right there while showing you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the contrast a little bit more. And once I've messed around with the contrast, the saturation, all of our shadows, midtones, and highlights and all that kind of stuff, you can come up here to this little color wheel that has some sparkles on it and you can toggle between what your grade looked like before and after. So if we take a look at this, you can see how much I did to add in some contrast and bump up the saturation, make that little pink backlight stand out a little more. So what you want to do is just kind of go through your entire project and just kind of add a little bit of splash of color to it. But you'll notice that this shot here and this shot here are the exact same type of shot. They were shot in the same location. They're the same type of B-roll. So they're probably gonna need the same type of grade. So if you click on this shot here and just hit Command C or Control C, come over here, Command or Control V, you're gonna see it paste the grade onto that one. You can see what shots you've graded because the little number here is surrounded by this colored uh, rectangle. But now if you go over to this shot, we can toggle that same button up here and you can see applied the same grade. Now you can paste the grade to everything else, but you're gonna see that 
other shots aren't going to look great with a grade that you've done on another shot. So I'm going to go ahead and command Z here. This shot doesn't need too much of a grade, but let's say we want to bring a little bit of saturation out of this one actually. And I want to crush the shadows a little bit, maybe bring up the highlights a little bit. And now let's take a look at what we did. You can see there's just a slight grade here. I can now take that and copy it to all my studio stuff. Maybe try copying it to my outdoor stuff. For the outdoor stuff, I kind of want to bring up the shadows because I'm sitting in the shadows. Maybe bring back a little bit of contrast contrast here bring up the mid-tones a little bit let's take a look at what i did there that's looking pretty cool just like that maybe add in a little bit more saturation since we're outside i want the greens to pop just like that now i can copy that between my other outdoor shot and i can maybe even copy that to my shots at the fence because those are also outside those might take the same style of grade so as you can see the grades looking pretty good across the board in the entirety of the video so this is pretty much what you want to do for color grading just extremely basic color grading inside of davinci going through a adjusting some levels, copying, pasting between shots. But once you have that done, you've got your edit all done. You've got your color all done. If you want to do some audio adjustments, you can hop in here to the Fairlight tab. And inside here is where you can kind of control your audio gain to turn yourself up and down. You can also adjust your audio a little bit inside of the editing tab. So if we come back into the editing tab, let's say this shot in the studio was a little bit too loud. You can click on your clip here, go up to the inspector, and this is where you want to change your clip volume. And we can turn up and down the volume. You can see the waveforms down here changing as I adjust the volume, which is a really cool feature inside of DaVinci Resolve. While I'm here in the inspector, I just want to show you that this is also where you're going to mess around with your scale and your rotation and position and all kinds of stuff like that. So if we go over here to the video tab, you can see in this transform section, this is where we are going to kind of zoom into our shots. If we want to do a little bit of a punch in, we can reframe our shots kind of like this, give myself a little bit more headroom. This is where you can do your rotation. So if you want to do like meme edits, this is where you would do that. If I want to punch in on my face, kind of like this, this, move it to be centered and all rectangle. So now this shot goes from like me looking normal to then punching in on my face like this. This is where you do all that kind of editing as well as inside of the inspector window. But once you have your video edited, you've got all of your audio edited, you've got your color done, you've got your punches in done, all kinds of stuff. It is time to export it for YouTube. And when you're ready to export to YouTube, where do you think you go? Down to the panels down here and to the deliver panel. Once you go to the deliver panel, it is pretty simple. If you look up here in the top left, you can do some custom settings for exporting. But what I like to do is just click on YouTube and export to YouTube 1920 by 1080p. That is full HD, ready to go upload to YouTube. We can call this the FX3 test video. You can hit browse and choose the location. Everything here should be set up perfect for uploading to YouTube. You can click this right here and sign into YouTube and have it upload instantly to YouTube. But I wouldn't recommend that because you still got to make a thumbnail. You still got to write a title, a description, set your tags, things like that. Once you've got your name, your location, where it's rendering to, all that kind of stuff, hit add to render queue. Over here in the render queue, you're going to see it pops up ready to go. And if you hit start render, it's going to begin rendering your videos and you're done. You're going to have a finished video ready to upload to YouTube and that is it. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know a ton of people have been asking me to do videos inside of DaVinci Resolve or any kind of free or cheap programs that are alternatives to the Adobe Suite. I do a ton of stuff in After Effects and Premiere Pro, but I hope this is the start of me being able to do some stuff inside of DaVinci Resolve for you guys. This was just a very quick overview video of how to cut together videos, how to maybe do some color grading, audio, and then exporting to YouTube so that hopefully you guys can get started creating some awesome YouTube content, even just shooting with your phone, bringing it into DaVinci, doing some awesome professional editing to it, uploading it to YouTube and getting that fan base started. But, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the new camera. I'm pretty excited to be using this for all my videos in the future. If you want to see some more detailed specifics on this camera, let me know. And if you want to see some more detailed videos inside of DaVinci Resolve, doing some specific things and just doing less of an overall video and more of a very fine-tuned DaVinci video, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video.